Hi there! In our previous video, we talked about electricity and the basic concepts of current, voltage, and resistance. In this video, we are going to discuss how these three affect each other by tackling Ohm's law. If you haven't watched the previous discussion, you can pause this video and watch that one first. The relationship between voltage, current, and resistance in any DC electrical circuit was first discovered by George Ohm. George Ohm found that, at a constant temperature, the electrical current flowing through a fixed linear resistance is directly proportional to the voltage applied across it, and also inversely proportional to the resistance. This forms the basis of Ohm's law. Take note that Ohm's law is only applicable if there is a constant temperature. Once temperature changes, there will be changes to the resistance as well. As temperature increases, resistance increases at the same time. When a material gets hotter, the atoms in the material vibrate more, as we have discussed in our previous module about heat. This makes it difficult for the electrons to move without interaction with an atom, thus increasing resistance. Ohm's law stated that the electrical current flowing in a circuit is directly proportional to the voltage and inversely proportional to the resistance. This means that if the voltage is increased, then the current will increase as long as the resistance doesn't change. If the resistance is increased and the voltage remains the same, then the current will decrease. In equation, current, represented by the capital letter I, is equal to voltage, represented by the capital letter V, divided by resistance, represented by the capital letter R. Now, Take note of the units of measurement for these quantities. For current, it is amperes or amps for short, represented by the capital letter A. Volts for voltage, represented by the capital letter V. And ohms for resistance, represented by the Greek letter omega. By knowing any two values of the voltage, current, or resistance quantities, we can use Ohm's law to find the third missing value. Ohm's law is used extensively in electronics formulas and calculations, so it is very important to understand and accurately remember these formulas. This formula is only applicable if we are looking for the current, but what if we are asked to look for the voltage? We use this base formula and transform it so we can look for the voltage. To look for voltage, multiply both sides by resistance to balance the equation. Now, we can cancel out the resistance on the right side, which leaves us with voltage. Now we have resistance times current equals voltage, or voltage equals current times resistance. To look for resistance, we use this base formula we derived for voltage. We divide both sides by current to balance the equation. Now, we can cancel out current on the right side, which leaves us only resistance. We have voltage divided by current equals resistance, or resistance equals voltage divided by current. To help you memorize these formula, remember the Ohm's Law Triangle. With this triangle, you have memorized all three equations in one. To look for voltage, we can see the equation current times resistance below. To look for current, we can see the equation voltage divided by resistance on the right side. And lastly, to look for resistance, we can see the equation voltage divided by current on the left side. 
With this triangle, it will be easier to memorize the formulas in Ohm's Law. Remember that voltage and current are directly proportional. So, if we increase voltage, current also increases. Now let's use the formula discussed and take a look at these three sample equations. Notice that as we increase the voltage, the current also increases. Resistance and current are inversely proportional to each other. If we increase resistance, current decreases. For example, in these three equations, we have an increasing resistance with a constant voltage. As we increase the resistance, the current decreases. Thus, they are inversely proportional. Alright, now let's solve some simple problems. Let's try calculating for the current. Find the current of a wire through a resistor of resistance equal to 2 ohms if the voltage of the battery is 9 volts. We have the formula current equals voltage divided by resistance. The given voltage is 9 volts and resistance of 2 ohms. 9 volts divided by 2 ohms equals 4.5 amperes. How about we try solving for resistance? What is the resistance of an electric flat iron in which the current is 10 amperes when the potential difference is the 220 volts used in our home? Now we have the formula, resistance equals voltage divided by current. The given voltage is 220 volts and current of 10 amperes. So 220 volts divided by 10 amperes equals 22 ohms. All right, let's try this last one. We will be solving for voltage. What voltage will be needed to produce five amperes through a 20 ohm coil? We have the formula, voltage equals current times resistance. The given current is five amperes times the given resistance of 20 ohms. So we need 100 volts to produce five amperes in the coil. In summary, Ohm's law states that the electrical current flowing in a circuit is directly proportional to the voltage and inversely proportional to the resistance. Remember that the Ohm's law is only applicable if there is a constant temperature. That's all for now. Up next, we will be discussing about series and parallel circuits as well as safety electrical home devices. See you on our next video and don't forget to keep your minds busy! If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification icon for more videos like this.